chat already. Great to have you there already, guys. Um, I'm excited for this, even though we know we're not going to get swoop, obviously, but I mean, already today. So in the UK, it's not even three o'clock. And obviously, by the time we got to 9 a.m. this morning, um, you know, crazy. Masterpiece, Jin Rai, fantastic. Um, finally, squeeze play, obviously. I know it's a retool of Mind Wipe. Um, but yeah, I mean, exciting, exciting times. Uh, the, even the turtles, I think what they've done with the turtles, the fact that obviously you haven't got to buy all four, the fact that you can just buy one. Um, and of course, what's the word I have to buy one? And then just change, obviously, your, you are Darren, change the uh, headband around. I think that's brilliant. I think it's genius. Fair play to Hasbro for doing that. Hi, Russ. I'm reading out. Sorry, hi, Pink Panther. Um, yeah, great idea by... Um, whoever's done that crossover. Aaron is on, brilliant, there he is, great stuff. You've got your official channel member badge now there, Aaron, it's good to see that on there, mate, great to have you part of the team. Um, I'm waiting on here. So I believe today is mainly sort of merchandise, isn't it? I think that's what they were saying. I think obviously everybody's saying, um, well, we're all presuming that the obviously swoop is gonna be WonderCon. Uh, and they've done an amazing job of keeping it, keeping it tight-lipped is the case. So um, I just hope if that is the case and we don't see it today that it's not leaked tomorrow at some point because that would be pretty awful <laughs> to be... Um, I want to know you guys in the comments now. Obviously, I put up three videos. Masterpiece, Jin Wright. Me, a person, you're on as well. Great to see you. Uh, Real Fanboy Show is in again. Nice to have you. The party wagon looks good. Your knee smile like that. Okay, that's perfect. What do you think of the other one? What do you think of the, the new Target four, you know, four-figure box again? So obviously everybody's going to want squeeze play. Uh, I'm not even bothered about Tarn actually. I like Tarn. I wasn't super, super fussed by it. But my, not excuse. Um, I suppose reason is that I've not read the comics. So as soon as I get on board with the comics, I imagine um, I'll have much more of an appreciation for Tarn. So we'll see uh, with that. Excuse me, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, looking forward. Hopefully they do that. Hopefully they, you know, again, we've had all these things re leaked this morning. Hopefully we get to see at least some of them today. Because uh, obviously it's, I, I think personally it's disappointing. From a fan's perspective, it's disappointing um, uh, to see the things in, um, what's the word I'm on about? Just to, to see them on, even though I report, much prefer to be like like now if they did something be like wow rather than finding it on uh somebody's somebody's found it on the thing haven't they what's the word i'm after somebody's found it on <laughs> so you're not in what what's if you did you get the missing links i wasn't down with this uh, until i saw the screen was really yes can't, obviously that was his name in japan I've not seen any more on it, so I perhaps need to have a quick look if there's been any more images, because I've, I've literally done a solid eight hours with clients until now, so um, I don't know if there's any extra images. Let me see if there's any extra images on TFW 2000. It looks like there is. Oh yeah, there you go, pre-orders are up as well. Gutted. I'm gonna, how am I gonna do that now? So, yeah, it does look like they got brown. Thanks for letting me know. As I say, I'm literally looking at this now. Did not even know. That's amazing. Cliff jumper. Oh, they've gone the versus pack as well. So I'm looking right now, guys, on TFW 2005, which is brilliant. I'm going to see if I can order this while I'm chatting to you guys. So hopefully that's not the big reveal that we've had today already because it's here. I want to see it. I love. What about Jin Roy? Everyone's thinking that Duke's jumped in as well. Great to have you on here, Duke. So yeah, there's that. Have you seen all the reveals already, Duke? There's loads, it's crazy. Um, there's the DNA upgrade kit. Yeah, the Jinrai's got me the most excited, to be honest. I think Jinrai's gonna be fantastic. Oh, is it starting yet? In demand. Oh no, I'm trying to think has been good. Hello, hi Duke. Perfect love is jumping on. In demand. I'm literally, as, we, as we're chatting, guys, so keep chatting, keep firing questions at me. I'm going to go on In Demand, which is my UK store, and see if I can get that set. It's got to be legit. I don't think it's got the trailer, though, Jeremy, unfortunately. Um, 
That set's only 76 quid, which is completely surprising. Did did did. Right, pre-order. June the July the 10th. That's that set's joined. So again, guys in the UK, um, always ordered two. Princeton's ordered two. Um, oh man, I was going to say, guys are in the UK, Simon. If you're after that, what's it called? If you're after that Legacy Four Pack, it's on in demand, and I'm literally buying it right now as we speak or getting it on pre-order shall we say because i've got at least 30 seconds before we talk how many bumblebee vids for it right so there's yellow red pretender bot pretender shell action master action master with pack and then bumble jumper and i've got a bonus one that i'm not going to include in the a to z which you'll see uh very i'm going to put it up as well but i'm going to put it up as a bonus uh, as a bonus short submit I might wait to see if that four pack goes on clearance um, here we go payment looks like they're starting I need to be quick here we go oh. right here we go so we're on live anybody Maybe it's because I'm using. Oh, here we go. I'll do that in a minute. Let's go to the fan stream and see what's going on. So they're talking about obviously merchandise. Let's hear what she's saying. It's freezes. It keep freezing. I need to see what's. I might have to turn some of the Wi-Fi bits off in here. Perfect. I've got that ordered. So they're all about a coin. Oh wow, Aaron, that's great. Is any of you guys in, in for this shield? Is it, is it something you're interested in? <laughs> all in the chat, people are putting, who cares? 5,000 worldwide. Let's see. Let's see. Jeremy's not into it. The whole chat on there is going, who cares? It's quite funny. Oh, wow. This is good. Oh, that's pretty good. That's something that I perhaps could be interested in. I've got to confess, guys, that's something I could be interested in. Who's this? Let's see. Let's see. Here's this celebration is... of the 40th anniversary. Welcome to Matt Ferguson. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hello. Uh, I don't know who he is. It's good to see you again. Congratulations on expanding your already very impressive portfolio. So, with this being your first music art cover, he's got a few fingers in the background. I'm trying to work out which ones he's got. Six oh knows it, whoever it is. There we go.
everyone's predicting because the Dinobots are in the back that it's a sign we're going to get sweet, but I don't think it is. So he's basically just, for those people who can't see and who aren't doing the one, if you're watching this back later on, they're talking to the artist who's designed the cover for the LP. I have to confess, as I say, I'm not familiar with him. He's very British, so he's obviously probably, I think, from England, maybe. So we'll see. Loads of people are talking about the fact that he's quite good, though, so there you go. That's the problem. The good problem with Transformers, there's too many avenues, too many things to like. He's got a Video Gems t-shirt on, which is, of course, what the Trans cartoons used to come in. Hasbro person put a thing on it. There you go, you can hear it as well. Then. Yeah, Video um, Gems is a proper blast from the past. Yeah, sort of accommodating that cartoon style is... So in the fresh. background, he does have the Dinobots on a shelf, obviously not Swoop, and everybody's okay, so guessing that that could be a sign. We were talking, were there some differences like in the smoke stacks that you wanted to focus in on? Yeah, so obviously in the, in the original cartoon, mm -hmm. the way they did it was quite quick and fast, because it was a Saturday morning cartoon, and it was cell-shaded animation, so like... When there was like a metal, it was usually just sort of like grey with a black line on. Shory's jumped in as well. Nice to have you on here, Shory. A slight sort of realistic shading. So What's like going on right now, mate, is we're listening to exactly how him chatting about, about his and artwork. With a bit more of a sort of shading and styling from like the toys and also like reality to just give it a bit more dimension. There we go, we're finding out what's going on now. Nice. Yeah, I know you had to pull in a bunch of different reference points to get it to where it's at, which is great. So, um, but it's still not so much. just some questions. So we were talking about the uh, 2018 album before. I'm curious what you were keen to keep design wise in this from the first release. So in this is basically the cover of an album. The 2018 release. Which again we haven't seen, so well, when I'm doing something like this, I try not to look at what was done before. But also because it's for the old original cartoon, I just my Oh now it's buffering. I'm losing it now. Oh, there we go. Make it as if it came out in nineteen eighty-five, like so it, it's got a sort of vintage Everybody in the chat on their chat's been really harsh. Obviously He's obviously talented. Accuracy <laughs> to the cartoon that they might not necessarily have put in the old it would help if they were showing the R though, because that would help, because at least you get to see what he's talking about. Cool. And uh, I think we actually do have a little time lapse oh, here. Oh, no. of the So this will be interesting created. to see. I'm going to turn it down just in case you can't hear it. So all it's showing now is his art, to be fair. It's all done on computers, of course. And there's not any of his hands there doing anything. It looks good. So he's just coloured in a bumblebee. Um, so we'll see what happens in a second. Right. Who is he? So Pete, he is a guy who is... He's done the artwork for the new Transformers 40th LP. Never finished this. Yeah, they're crazy, Darren. But funnily enough, they did a, they did a, a huge box set really cheap. Also, while you're watching this, if you like what you're hearing, you can listen to the extended 80s remix of the opening. I'd love to see a comrade of Blue Moon. It's actually available today across all of your 
favorite They should do. That's a brilliant idea, Jeremy. That's exactly what they should do. The only problem is you're always going to get people moaning about the dub, but I don't mind the dub. I don't mind the dub at all, to be honest. I mean, maybe they could clear it. Yeah, it's, oh, you, you're a bit behind then, Pete. You must be a bit behind Pete because, oh, there we go. Yeah, a Video Gems t-shirt, you've just noticed it. So yeah, he's just talking, what he's done is he's designed the cover of it. It was really cheap. It was like 150, um, I think it was 125 pound to do. You're late Pete. It wasn't very, it was two years ago, if that. Because I brought one to, to, for a friend and I sent it over to America as well. And they, they did a massive Hasbro pulse sale. The figure with all eight of them in a box, Revenge of the Fallen, it was only about 100 quid. It was so cheap. It was too good, which is about $130 for all of them in a giant box set. The box was bigger than the average table, though. Um, I can't remember which NEC it was that we took them to, so it wasn't long ago. Must have been only a year ago, Max. Must have been Christmas, not the year gone, the year before. Because me and both right, Magnum so Prime brought one. Sure and I didn't do a video on it because somebody brought it off me before I could do it. Right, so hopefully we're going to get to see some toys. So all you've missed, Pete, is some medallions and art. He's still talking about it. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't think he looks old enough to have watched it when he was a kid. So that's a compliment if he was. I can't see hair on him anywhere, so... toys there will probably be stuff on well that's what pete have you seen the pre-orders that have come up have you seen perhaps a potential masterpiece jinrai mp60 jinrai has been leaked earlier this morning we all make collecting mistakes buddy we've done that before i've done a couple of things So if you want the album in July, and they're going to be able to sell it at SDCC as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. My pleasure. There we go. That was so that's that same one. Here we go then. I can't wait for that one, Mia Pearson. That's going to be amazing. It looks like they're going to show us tales. Yes, Pete. The turtles. So it's definitely evil. So there's everything that we've seen this morning, unfortunately, looks like it's being shown. I love the fact that you can do this. Yeah, the chat was really disrespectful for the people for his artwork. Oh, wow, they've got it in the packaging. I can't believe we're doing a Turtles collab, man. So, here we go. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, this is a great idea. Wow, Darren Lee, I'll sell you, man. 
I got a notification for Zero G on my Legends so, scale. Wanted to get this out there. So yeah, as you can see, he comes fully kitted out with all the things, right? He has two katanas, he has a I don't know if you saw that, Darren, but um, Aaron, who's one of my incredibly generous channel members, um, he said he'd sell you them Devastator parts. So we'll sort that out on a different stream afterwards. I think it looks cool, to be fair. There's all the different heads. It's class. I'm completely all surey right now. I, 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 there's a video going later. It's on the MP44 toy edition. That's just as good, mate. It's amazing. That's coming on later. So the best thing is on this, is it, he's just said it in his own words. You can just swap the bandana and have whichever one you want, which is really cool. I'm going to definitely be getting one of these, 100%. Definitely looks good. This is I can see this uh, really well. I want to get that figure, but the backpack is too big. Pete, missing link has to keep going. You've got to suspect that they will. You've got to suspect that they will. Pre-order today, turtles as well. I wonder how much it is in the UK. That's pretty good. <laughs> so yes, very excited to finally get this out there. Um, again, hoping to log on the plane since last night. This hasn't leaked, but I'll find out when I find the plane. It has leaked, unfortunately. <laughs> um, all right. So sticking with collabs, let's talk about an item that's getting a reissue. Um, some of you probably. Oh, the Ghostbusters reissue. I suppose that's good because lots of people missed out on the Ghostbusters. See. I've still not unboxed mine. Perhaps I need to, to be fair. I've got them. So maybe I'll do that over the weekend or over some weekend. I still haven't um, done it. Kang Toy Swoops look good. He does indeed, pal. He's on his. Obviously, I'm selling mine to you. <laughs> Which is good. That's what it's all about in our chat. Thanks for the offer and a job. And... Well, Darren, I speak to Aaron on a daily basis, and he, I'm, I'm sure they'd be more than willing to save them for you, buddy. Shockwave, here we go, and then Grimlock will be after this. This is class. Pete, what do you think of these? <laughs> I'd like to see. I think this looks... These are going to be amazing. This looks brilliant. Gotta be Jeremy, you're probably right. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. The only problem that I'm gonna have is because I've got the Nemesis at the bridge pre ordered as well. I'm gonna have about five versions of that shockwave. Because obviously, you've got Siege. Uh, you'll have this one, there's the Nemesis of the Bridge one, there's another one as well, I'm sure there is. Either way, I love Shockwave, so I'm not worried. Let's have a look at this. 
It's basically what he's talking about with a book. For any of you who know who don't know, Takara did this 20 years ago. They called it the Takara Book Collection, and they reissued the G1 figures in exactly the same thing, same style packaging. It was like a book. You opened it up. It had different pages of different things in, and of course, it had the figure inside as well. So, um, so yeah. So that, that's it's basically Hasbro's versions of the Takara Book Collection, but with comic deco figures, which I think is great. Let's be honest. Everybody's still moaning about the fact that it's not a gun, but of course it is. You just turn it the way around and put the feet in. Because um, that's what they've done really clever. Darren, Aaron, don't worry, we'll sort Aaron, I'll sort today with him on something else, mate, don't worry. Pulse exclusive. I've got to go on Pulse now straight after this. I wonder if that's in demand as well. I like that comic cover. These releases are great because they're extraordinary. So then lastly for the night of the show off today, this was actually revealed by our good friends Target. They put this up for pre-order early this morning. This is their fourth Here we go. So they So this again is what we saw earlier. It's the floor pack. This is ace. This character, and as you know, in Super Cut Mask of Force, he was known as Cancer. So the character that is for his headmaster, uh, open him up here. He actually resembles. Let's have a look. That character as well. Nice. Yeah, he's got the face plate mask on. That's going to be cool. cool. So it's a, uh, colors are definitely strong, and like he also has his like shield, and I just love the whole crazy snaked out Cobra crab. <laughs> Oh, it's so good that we're finally getting a squeeze play. Yeah, so, yeah, so once we like Fangry and a couple of I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to for it there. They, they, they take down the screen as soon as you do it. We tried to do it. We got I got in trouble and I got took down last time because it's a live broadcast and we're not allowed to take anything from that. Otherwise, I'd love to. I'd just show it straight to you all. But um, yeah, it's the same with any watching. If you're watching sports, they're not allowed to put it on the same screen as well. Coming out of song worked on that character, and he really went overboard to try to get horns on the front. I also was thinking of doing it with watching like the Generation One episodes, but then um, uh, what's the word I'm after? But again, I wasn't allowed. So they're just showing the target four pack that was leaked this morning already. Let's have. I wonder why they changed this color. Yeah, exactly. I was going to do. I was going to do watch alongs with the Generation One, but I was told not allowed to. I'd say otherwise I'd just put it this up there for you, but even we did it before and I held it up for too long on the screen and it cut me off. And there's another UK YouTuber who was um, just playing the music loud enough so that's all he could hear or playing the live stream loud enough and the YouTube cut off. So um, you've got to be really careful with all the copyrights with things like that. I don't know if any of you watch sports watch alongs in, in like in the, in the UK they do watch alongs, obviously football matches. But you can't even hear, you're not allowed to hear the commentary for that reason. So, um, 
hopefully they're, they're not listening to this as well. It, it, all the copyright laws are crazy, to be honest. What you can and what you can't do, etc. The tarn colour scheme looks crazy. AFC Matt, so basically all the stuff that I put in the leaked videos this morning, so the four pack, they're talking about it now. Um, we'll do have organic community and brand building here. And um, what's the thing I want to write? It's the four pack, you've missed the shockwave, which we've seen. We've seen everything. And um, there's something else as well. What well, was on before this? I can't think. I can't think. So to be honest, you haven't really missed anything, unfortunately. Really, they were all of them. Oh, so they're going to do it through the space bridge. This will be interesting. So let's see. But we know this because we've seen the lists, but it'd be nice to actually obviously have them confirmed. So they're confirming this is through the space bridge. <laughs> so they're saying that these are available for print. Deluxe Concept Sunstreaker, which we know. People have actually reviewed this figure. It's actually out. It's a little disappointing. And I feel sorry for them. That's what I mean. I feel sorry for them to do this. They haven't even got a picture of the toy when some people have reviewed it. I wish, you know, the, the, the toy's out. Somebody's got the toy. War for Cybertron video games, Sideswipe, people have reviewed him. So, yeah, I wish it was something slightly different. People are saying in the comments, I've got this, I've got this. Smith's is ours, yeah. Voyager Shockwave, Bumblebee movie, we know that's coming out. Everybody, these are, I mean, these are out. Swoop. Just a picture. Showing us a picture of him. Yeah, I've joked about it a lot. Like, hey, you know, keep it up. Yeah, I completely agree. There's this. The two, I mean, the unfortunate thing, as I say, is I did the, vi all the videos this morning. And that's literally what they just showed. Of course, they showed the turtles. Everything that I put up in little one-minute snippet videos in between clients this morning is what I've just shown now. So. We know he's going to be blue because that's already been leaked as well. So they're talking about the use of the Studio Series 86 film lock model, but we know they're going to use that. So I think they're basically massively hinting at what I think everybody's guessed, and yeah, everybody's guessed that they're going to be. Um, Really revealed at WonderCon over the weekend. I would be very, I think they're going to do that to be honest. It's got to be WonderCon over the weekend, um, which is good. So, I mean, I think that, let's be honest the positive thing is the turtles wagon that you can pick whichever turtle you want. You don't need to buy four, uh, you can just mix and match them. The four pack, 
for the for some reason is incredibly good value. Uh, you've got a Voyager and three deluxe, um, and it's the same price as three deluxe in the UK at the moment. I don't know why that's so cheap. Um, Hasbro Pulse, you can get Shockwave. Aaron, double check it. That might be on Pulse. If it's not an in demand, it might be on Pulse. And if it is, I'll have to get on Pulse and do it quick while I'm chatting to you guys. There's so nothing really new, unfortunately. If they're doing reveals at the weekend now. Again, Pete, we're, we're speculating. Everybody seems to think um, because it's WonderCon this weekend and they to do, you know, actual conventions, they obviously always have a display, don't they? So, um, they're, but they've been hinting at it massively for ages now that it looks like that's what they're doing. They do look, but we'll, again, we'll find out in two days. It's Thursday now. We will literally find out in two days, and I'm pretty sure that, as I say, I know it's hard to keep secrets, but I was really, yeah, me too, too, because I say, unfortunately, um, like I say, that set looks great and the, and the party wagon looks great, etc. But they were already leaked. I'm going to stay on for another 25 minutes or so, guys. If you want to stay and chat, might as well. No more days till any seat. I'll be there. I'm still sorting out all the things that I've got to get out of the attic to sell. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to that. See. There you go, 3 p.m., room 300, if you're going to WonderCon, or basically, so that's 11 a.m. UK time, so I'm going to completely miss that Saturday morning. I'm out. Um, oh, no, 3 p.m. This is 11 a.m., so 3 p.m. We'll be later on, we're at 5 p.m. The problem we have with the, with the retro line pieces, they just all of a sudden appear. I've got to save that book for you as well, by the way. Right, that was it, guys. I'm going to go into my chat now so I can chat to you guys. Where are we? Little disappointing. Little disappointing. But it wouldn't have been so bad if they hadn't leaked it all this morning. If they hadn't leaked it all this morning, then it would have been a much, much better. Um, but they even said in the stream that Target was showing you this from this morning. So I don't understand why they let them do that. Why would you let them do that if you're going to be leak not leaking it, revealing it? in in the stream so i don't understand that <coughs> and the retro lines just sort of appear everywhere um i don't know if it's sweep's going to be delayed afc man uk uh, i'm not too sure we'll see um but i hate saying this but i think pretty much everybody who's in the chat left is going to agree the four streams to be honest have been pretty disappointing because we've seen everything over the last four weeks, um, literally everything, seen them all, seen them in the boxes, seen them in alternate modes, seen them in the packaging, etc. So it's frustrating that it wasn't um, anything that we didn't see. But I, as I've said, I definitely will, can picture what I said I'm after. Uh, can't think of what I'm trying to say. This weekend, this weekend there'll probably be a load uh, uh, that we didn't get a chance to see um, in the streams, which hopefully is the case because everybody wants to see sweep everybody wants to see what else is it they've already pretty much well they haven't revealed but there's on the league to listen to the grimlock so for the grimlock studio series 86 mold they're going to definitely do an all blue one they, they were teasing then but it's it's on a list yeah disappointing yeah i think it is but you can be you can use stronger word if you want um I wanted to see, same as you guys, I'm, you know, the be all and end all is the reason why I do this channel now. The reason why I, I sit, um, to AFC man, honestly, right, I literally, I speak to them, not on a daily basis, I speak to them quite a bit. And I can tell you that honestly, that they are, they're gutted. They're gutted a lot of the time, they're disappointed a lot of the time. And I'm not going to say they're upset and crying, but it pees them off. Uh, same as it does us, that so much stuff comes out because this is their words, not mine. And again, if you watch back at the actual public interviews that I did with them on the channel, 
they say, you know, sometimes that they've done, they've been spent two years working on a figure, they've got it worked out, they've got the colour scheme worked out, they've got it all worked, and then just as they're about to reveal it, somebody else does. Um, and, you know, they've spent two years working on a figure and they're not, when they say that they're working two years behind, they're not joking. And um, I obviously don't work for Hasbro. I'm nothing to do with Hasbro. I just, like you guys, I'm a fan. I'm just lucky enough that sometimes I get to chat to them. And sometimes the thing that I'm chatting to them is something that, again, funnily enough, appears um, like like today. Something came up today that I'm, that it's like, oh, wow, that's great. There he finally is, you know what I mean? But, um I just feel sorry for them for that particular reason. It's, um, yeah, exactly that. The guy who linked them all, didn't he do it? Yeah, I don't know who it is. Um, his name was JT Prime, wasn't it? His name was JT Prime. Now, I also know as well, because like, I know a couple of shop owners who get, obviously, the listings ready for, um, what's the word? What's the word? Ready for, for the pre-order they tend to get them at least a week or so early but everybody like you are they don't even they won't even tell me which is brilliant because i'd much rather not not them tell me they, they've told me from talking to them that they'll get let's just say you know normally there's a transformers tuesday then they'll get it a few hours before but then by the time they're like they say they're so surprised that they just appear everywhere that it's just leaked and they appear i didn't know that jt prime used to work for hasbro but i'm not surprised with how far in front he was with everything and if that is after spite then that's just not on is it but I, what you've just said Pete as well I, I completely agree with you I don't understand and like they just did a through the space bridge yes all them we knew all of them I don't know even know why they were showing pictures because as I say some of them are already out and they've been out in Canada for ages I also think the distribution doesn't help I think that they've just got so many problems and in one way I'm glad that I've got I don't work for Hasbro and I haven't got to worry about any of that because Imagine all the, you know, all the stress and all the thing of people getting. I mean, I've got a brilliant example. Um, I'm going to do the live stream on the Friday instead of the Saturday, surely. Definitely, yes, 100%. So I'm going to go live Friday night, probably about 9 p.m. Um, UK time. So that's another five hours from now, four hours from now, rather. Oh, the clocks will have gone back, though. The clocks are in three and a half hours' time. I'll put it, I'll obviously, I'll give you at least all a week's notice. Um, of when I'm going to be doing that. Uh, what else is there? Someone needs to put a stop to. We know this demand Seth. We've I've said this for ages. Again, I said in the last video, and the last video that I did with Delaney and BMAC, they were saying that it's obviously it's it's, it's a pain and they don't like it. But there's I don't know whether there's there's nothing that they as obviously individual people can do. Um, but obviously, I think Hasbro need, and I'd say it, they do need to they do need to clamp down on it because it is a joke that that these figures are out. I mean, that for instance, Voyager Shockwave is a joke. Yeah, the the fact that you know it, it he they they've reviewed it months back, months back. Now we're not talking like a week or two or a couple of days. We're talking a physical in hand product, months back and. And, uh, they're about to officially reveal it soon it says so um yeah I completely agree but you, i don't know i don't think anybody can ever truly answer it i think the only thing that i will say that is of comfort and that i say this to people and again i've been very fortunate to be in a couple of chats with them etc um and we, i did a round table thing two of them i think i've done two round tables with them which is where there's the the people who are the people with like who, are, who run T formers who run TFW 2005 um, real uh, real big YouTubers you know ones who are three four five times bigger than me etc the massive ones like Rodimus Primal, MGO etc and all that uh, and 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 he's never preview he's never in it he's never been invited um, and I don't and I'm not just saying that and I don't think that he's like a silent one at the back because you get the opportunity to ask questions and obviously you want to obviously so i've asked questions and if you were in that meeting or if you were able to speak to the people like that you want to ask them wouldn't you i haven't seen what six i haven't got uh twitter so um i'll see if i can find out what he said is someone who works in his yeah he's got he's got a few people I, I, and 
funny talks and and again guys this is all this is not speculation this is something that every one of you can do right now once i hang up if you want there's a website called social blade i check it all the time because I, I use it to check my stats and see how i'm doing so because obviously youtube twitter TikTok, anything that anything any money that's earned in the public eye is public knowledge so there's a website called social blade and if you type in i check youtubers all the time to see not to see what they're earning but to see where they are but it will tell you what they're earning and he's on a very good stint and again if you get that first video out before anybody else um then you can make a lot of money so that's the reason he does it i don't agree with it at all i completely condone it but the reason why he does it is because if he gets that video out fast you know whatever he's paying for the stolen product it's i don't really like talking about this to be honest so I, I don't normally get caught up in it all but i'm just giving you answers and reasons why now that once obviously you get the video and you first to get it up it's, it's it's revenue it's revenue it's it could be it's not just revenue from watching the video it's like somebody might find your channel because of it and then they go and watch a load more of your videos so that's why they do it it's it's just not um it's the problem is exactly like pete just put it's not clamped down fast enough it's not um the only the only t one time that i know 100 percent, and again funny enough i had to happen to be on chat with them at the time um and again so this isn't me speculating or whatever um yeah you're completely that's it you're completely right him on it was it was the snarl video i think it was the other one Sheffertron or whatever his name is he got snarl and put the video up and they got that taken down uh which was obviously good but they need to do it more often they need to do way more there's 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 a load of them um i i don't i think they are I, with mine it's always all over the place but um i go with mine to see my ranking and see where i've moved up but you know like because i watch quite a lot of sports youtubers and it blows my mind how much they're on but it's crazy but they often you know they haven't got a job that's um that's what they do they do youtube uh, but as i say social blade it's in the public eye you can see if you want to shock yourself you want to see the, the nursery rhyme channels oh my days and anybody who's a parent um can probably relate to to that super simple songs and choo choo tv and all that the people who who make choo, who make super simple songs do you think mpg molly yes i definitely think it's real master far um that's it uh what's it master far i definitely think he's real and with regards to what i was saying there yeah so simon they're on millions millions and millions and millions of pounds a year just for people kids watching um <clears throat> watching nursery rhyme videos so whoever got into that game first is a genius absolute genius one thing I want to ask you guys, actually, because there's, you know, there's 25 of you in the chat now. Because of how much fun I've had doing this and because I think how they've worked and because, in all honesty, we haven't really learned anything new. I'm thinking about doing more of these just randomly in the middle of the day, just to give people around the world. Um, nice to have you here still down, you know, times to chat and everything. <clears throat> Made super simple songs. They're on about 12 million a year it's insane um, i'm thinking of doing these more often as well as the main one once a month um so let me know in the comments guys what you think about that it's it's fun to just sit and chat isn't it as i say even if there was two three of you i'd still sit and do it i've got a gap in the day so i'll do it yeah you'll be stunned how much they earn the super simple songs um as you say it's it's the people who watch prime versus prime it's the people who watch chef -a tron and everything else like they're the guys who watch them they need to they need to stop watching it because as soon as because the funny thing is if they're paying thousands of dollars for a figure <clears throat> if they pay i don't know someone said that the average going was um <clears throat> if someone says that they're making two if they're paying anything up to you know a thousand dollars for a stolen figure but the video is making them two thousand or whatever as soon as people stop watching it what do you think is going to happen then it that's it the concept's 100 percent right um it, it's the subs it's the people who watch it's the people who um i did i don't know if i don't know if you guys are know because i know quite a few of you in the chat are um relatively quite new to this channel but it was was it tow line you know tow line which was the green redeco of scrap hook or whatever it was <clears throat> yeah exactly that's what i want i want it to be able to get a good shape rather than so i can't get to see or speak to anybody but anyhow so tow line had leaked and um from Sheffertron, i don't mind i'm going to mention his name now whatever however you pronounce it and i used some of his pictures 
and I put this is and again same as obviously when Prime versus Prime or Crime versus Crime, which is his best name by the way. When Crime versus Crime um, wouldn't be exactly. Uh, I was just saying, Pete. I'm just saying exactly to what you just said. When um, when they when they leak videos, I only use screen grabs, obviously, because that's all I do anyhow. But I never credit the people. Well, anyhow, Chefatron actually um, commented on one of the videos. In fact, you can have a look at it yourself, guys. On the tow line leak, he put like basically, you need to be crediting me in this because it's mine. It's my images from my video, and I'm thinking, um, you blooming, it's a stolen image. What do you want me to do? So, um, yeah, so that's quite funny. He literally did. did, did, did. So there you go, that's quite funny. Now, you're right, helpful, Pip. It is annoying, it is frustrating. More so, as I say, for us as the fans, because I'm really pleased. Crime versus crime, yeah, there you go. There's his name. <laughs> These days, very rare. I watch Pew and Theo Adams often as well. I didn't come up with that, by the way. Um, one, of my one of my channel members, Ben, who's not in the chat, he comes in the evening ones, Ben Williams, he first said it and I think it's genius. So, um, Alan, Alman, you've missed nothing, unfortunately, mates. Any of the, the videos that I put up first thing this morning, so the turtle wagon was revealed, the four pack was revealed and the comic book shockwave was, um, uh, don't worry, we know you didn't mean it as, as, a, as a nasty way. So, um, sometimes when you type things, it's, you know, I know what you mean. Don't worry, you don't need to apologize for that, it's fine. Uh, what was we saying? No, so you're not really missing an owl, man. Um, as I say, I think the main thing is going to come this weekend. Um, typically, as I say, at the times they're going to come, I'm going to be pretty busy. So you might get a random me walking down the street with my phone saying, look what's just happened, and hopefully I can show you some of it. Uh, but otherwise, no, there's not too much, is there? But yes, by the same bit, I think I'll do more of these streams. I might just plan one in a week. What I'll do is I'll have a look at my diary, and if I've got like a... A, a couple of gaps. I used to watch people all the time. I had no idea this was telling us in some sort of way. Everybody thought he did. Everybody thought he did. But again, not at all. Nothing to do with them. Um, nothing to do with them at all. The, and yeah, again, as I say, because in fact, I said I was going to show you guys. So when we do, I've got I've got mine at home. Um, so when I do the next live stream on the Friday night. Um, like I said to people in the last Saturday chat that I did, that if they send you anything, it comes with it with a with a card. Here we go. What's this? I wonder if they're all the picture. Uh, I'm just reading that. Did it? Was going to say. So yeah, I'll show you the card that came with the figures that they sent me, and it's got like, I suppose, yeah, what you've got to do. This you've got to say it's from Hasbro. You've got to show them. Da, 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 da. And because he never does any of that, that's. And why wouldn't you either? If if you know if. When Hasbro sent me something, I was over the moon. I wanted to tell the world, I wanted to tell everybody. I was really proud, I was made up, I was really excited. So even when people like Robot Recruits have sent me something, the first thing I do is like, Robot Recruits have sent me this. Um, and I'm always dead honest. I mean, even on the ones that I buy, I say I purchased this from. But when I've been physically sent something, Aaron, bless him, who's in the chat, sent me something. So I said to people straight away at the beginning of the video, this has been sent to me by someone. So if you're sent something by Hasbro, You'd tell the world. You wouldn't hide it. You wouldn't. You wouldn't keep it secret. You'd be like me. I'd be like made up. I'm like, wow. Hasbro is sending me stuff. This is amazing. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion anyway. You know, if, you know, these are the figures that we love. These are the figures that we collect. These are the figures we spend lots of money on. So if they're going to send you something that, you know, that saves you buying it, it's amazing. That's it. He never shows the boxes. They've always been. As I say, and you would, you'd be like, oh, wow, look what they've sent me. I am anyway. Yeah, as I say, I am like that. I just want to chat to them. Never mind um, when they actually sent me something. They st they steal them from, from factories. Um, it's been, I didn't know about it at first. I found out about it from doing this channel. People were telling me, and there is, there, there's loads of stories on it on the internet. Um, and, you know, the other telltale sign is, as we say, it gets them so early. So, so it's not good. It's not good, but I don't want to bang on about him anymore. I want to uh, chat with you guys because I've got to go back in in about 10 minutes. Um, less than that, to be fair, now looking at the time. So with regards to what is going on, I have done MP44S, which is the Toy Deco of Optimus Prime review. Um, yeah, I told, I said that to, to um, Demonsef as well. He's never shows the packaging. Never, 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 never. Uh, what sort of... You show I try so hard not to keen on clears and 
That's true, Pete's answered that there perfectly. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, so Masterpiece Toy Deco Optimus Prime will go Eve. When do you want it, guys? What, what time is it now? It's nearly four o'clock. If you give me 15 minutes after I've been on this chat, I'll put that live for you. So Masterpiece Toy Deco Optimus Prime is fantastic. I'll, I've, I've got it ready, I've just got to sort out a thumbnail. So I'll probably put that um, later. Um, and then over the weekend, I believe, I, again, I'm at work, so I can't say for not if this is true. I believe that some of the legacy United Wave 2, so Shard, Gears, etc., should be arriving at mine today. So when I get home, hopefully I'll get a couple of, I'll get Gears ready for tomorrow, um, etc., etc. I've got all my A to Zs for the next six weeks. Not six, six days, sorry, for the next six days done. It has a backpack but it does have the, the, the one which you attach to it. You'll see in a minute, I'm gonna put it up in a minute. Um, it, hasn't got a, it hasn't got a speaker in it either, so that's different. Um, I've got the comic, the last comic from the issue 332 is ready for Saturday morning. Um, I've got so much things planned, guys. I've got so many things going on for the channel. Um, the, the four pack is available on in-demand right now, Dave. The four pack is available on in-demand right now. I couldn't say for Hasbro, you'll have to check that out. Um, and again, just to remind everybody who's in the chat that, um, what's the word I'm after? I'll be at the NEC next Sunday. Yes, I've got friends here. I did a, oh, for the American people. Oh, God, that's it. Um, I've just ordered it, the new four pack. Yes, that's it, Alan Alman, I got that. So, good, I'm glad you managed to answer that. Uh, which is perfect because what I'm going to go and do now then guys I have got a four o'clock client unfortunately so I'm going to make my way out in a minute um, I will get you the I'll get it up in 15 minutes I, my clients are so cool they're cool they understand what I do as well so I'll get the thumbnails put and then I'll get that um, although I think I said yeah that's it uh, what was I going to say I'll get that video up straight away for you um, and then what's the going to say i'll just keep doing what i'm doing uh, i've got a bonus a to z as well because you guys in america know about this but the uk guys probably don't so when they packaged bumblebee from the pretender yes i'll tie it with you regards to that pete i'll take the book for you and i'll take the circle stamp cliff jumper for you and we'll work out a trade or something when we get there um i can't think what i was saying then guys i don't even know what i was saying I'll get the toy that anyway, I'll get that put up and then I'll do another news recap in about five hours once I finish. Um, even though I'll be in here of everything that we've just seen and anything new that's 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 dropped, obviously, while I didn't know. So don't forget to hit the like button, guys. There's more of you in the chat than there is on the like. These have been an absolute pleasure these last four weeks to the point, as I say, where I'm going to do them maybe month, maybe weekly in the middle of the day like this, as well as the monthly one in the evening. <laughs> So there we go. I am literally going, it's funny enough, my wife just put a message on there. If she's watching, there you go. Um, I'm going back to work now, because it's nearly four o'clock. Uh, yeah, see, that's the thing, doing lives on your phone, it pops up. Right then. Um, yeah, I am going back to work right now. I'll speak to you guys in the live next week. Take it. Oh, I'll tell that cliff jumper separately then, Pete. Brilliant stuff. Right, guys, catch up with you all soon. Take care. See you, Simon. See you, NEC.